Hello, and welcome to the Sidecar Tridge multi-device quick start video. We're excited to guide you through setting up and enjoying your side cartridge. By the end of this video, you'll know how to install the hardware, update the firmware, and get your first ROM, floppy image, or hard drive running via a Wi-Fi connection. For a deep dive into side cartridge multi-device and its features, don't forget to swing by our website at sidecartridge.com. So what's inside your kit? First up, the side cartridge multi-device board. If you still need to get yours, you can snag one directly from our shop or craft your own using our open schematics. Next, we have the Raspberry Pi Pico W. Make sure this little wonder has pin headers to connect to the side cartridge board. Now you'll also need a data USB A to USB micro cable. You'll need this to install the firmware. Lastly, the micro SD card. While optional, you won't get the most out of the device without it. One quick but crucial tip. When you connect your Raspberry Pi Pico to the board, orientation matters. Look for the micro USB connector. It should sit comfortably over the USB label on the board. Next, install the firmware on your Raspberry Pi Pico W. First, download the latest firmware version from our website and then activate the boot cell mode on your Raspberry Pi Pico. This mode readies the device for a firmware update. To access boot cell mode, follow these instructions. Press and hold the reset button. While holding down reset, press the boot cell button. Release the reset button, but keep holding the boot cell button. Finally, release the boot cell button. Following these steps, your Raspberry Pi Pico W will be ready for firmware installation. Once in boot cell mode, drag and drop the firmware file onto the USB drive icon that appears on your computer. Starting with version beta v0.117, the sidecar tridge multi-device functions as a mass storage device when connected to a computer. This enables you to transfer files to the micro SD card from your PC, Mac, or Linux computer, just like any external drive. This feature is ideal for copying ROM images, floppy images, hard disk files, and more. Please ensure the micro SD card is formatted to FAT16 or XFAT to use this feature. The device can emulate ROM, floppy, and hard disk images. To set this up, create three folders at the root of the micro SD card, slash ROMs for ROM images, floppies for floppy images, slash HD for hard disk images. The side cartridge multi-device will automatically search these folders for the respective images. To connect the device to the Atari ST cartridge port, position the board as shown in the video and firmly insert it into the port of a powered off computer. When the computer is powered up with the side cartridge multi-device for the first time, it boots into configurator mode. Please remember that the USB cable must be disconnected from your PC from now on. In this mode, a new drive named cartridge will appear on the screen but it's also possible to enter configurator mode by pressing the left shift button at boot time. Open the sidecart.toss application to access the configuration program. Here, you'll see a list of available devices ready to be emulated, configuration options, Wi-Fi settings, and the ability to restore default settings. In this quick start, we'll demonstrate how to connect to a Wi-Fi network and download a ROM catalog from an online repository. You can also download a floppy image from the Atari ST floppy database, create your own hard disk with gigabytes of space, or enable a real-time clock, which is why the device is called a multi-device. By selecting option W, the screen will display a list of nearby Wi-Fi networks detectable by the Raspberry Pi Pico W. Choose your desired network and enter the password to authenticate. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the IP address assigned by the DHCP server and the name of the connected network. Navigate to option 2, Emulate ROM image from Wi-Fi, and select a ROM to download. For example, let's play a classic game like Whizball. 
Once the ROM is downloaded and the device is ready, the computer will prompt you to reset. Now, simply wait for the ROM to boot up and immerse yourself in the enjoyment of this classic game. To re-enter the configuration mode, press and hold the select button on the side cart board for over a second. Once the Morse code style blinking of the F letter on the LEDs concludes, gently reset the computer and launch the sidecart.toss application. You can now explore the various features of the Side Cartridge multi-device on your own. For general information, visit our website at sidecartridge.com and for detailed information on specific features, check out docsdoutsidecartridge.com. And don't miss our YouTube videos for tips and hints on how to get the most out of the device. Enjoy!